What's up with the YouTube? You already know what it is. Real Boss TV A15. You know what I'm saying? Back at it again. You know what I'm saying? I just had to touch down with y'all for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be uh it's gonna be a little cool, smooth live, like probably like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how it go. But you know what I'm saying? I just had to drop this information. And you know how I like to do, man. I like to look at everything and uh I like to break it down. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. I like to break stuff down, man. There's so much things that people are overlooking. And this information I'm going to drop, man, it's really like uh, it's going to answer a lot of people's questions, on, especially why I like a lot of people felt like Kanika's mom wasn't doing enough and, and all that. This going to answer some questions for you, man, for real. And it, to me, it don't make no sense why they're doing this, but... I mean, it do make sense when you look at it, but, you know, it's just a part of the game, man. But we're going to get into it. I'm going to let uh, a few people get up in here, man. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat. What's up, Val? What's up, Constance? What's up, Chanel? What's up, Lisa Love? <clears throat> Y'all already know what it is, man. We're going to drop this content in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Just give me a second. I'm going to light up. We're going to get straight to it. Now, I really didn't, at first, look, I really didn't want to say nothing, but I'm just noticing because, you know, I be I be peeping game, too. I be looking at stuff, and shout out to all the real J4K supporters. I already, y'all already know who y'all is, but I've been noticing it's a few people that be, like, they be all on the uh, groups and all that everywhere, like, they, and they, you know, they, they claim they supporters, I guess they is, but they also be in the groups that be bashing Kanika and her mama. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know <clears throat> I don't know what to think about that. You know, that's either here or there, but people going to do what they do. I just don't understand how you don't get it. Like if you if you a supporter, you wouldn't be rocking with somebody that's making videos bashing them. And especially bashing Kanika alone, you know what I'm saying? Or her mom. But that's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody that's in the chat, man. Like I said, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to make it quick and simple. We're going to be in here for about 30 minutes, man. Y'all turn up, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> shout out to the chat, man. Yeah, man. Val, I, I, I felt like I should make you a moderator, but I don't think you want to do that shit. I don't know. And I, I and I tried. Look at this. I tried not to cuss. I already didn't cuss one time. That's that's terrible. What's up? The answer, aka a little top. Ooh. That's that Zaza. What? <clears throat> little top. What's going down, man? So, like I said, we're going to get into it. Uh, basically, I'm going to give you all some uh, info. And the thing about it is, what what kind of got to me is, we, I want to say allegedly because, you know, there's a, that's an uh, ongoing civil trial, right? And I understand why this person took it down. But they are confirming that this information is true, what this young lady is saying. And I ain't going to say no names, but the person that's confirming that don't never show, re, you know what I'm saying, repost or tweet or nothing, nothing. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, y'all already know it's going to be, it, it's, it's real. But they had to take it down because... I feel like it's a legal thing. You see what I'm saying? But you're going to understand what I'm talking about once we get uh, a little bit more into it. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Just give me like one more second. We're going to start this thing up, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. I got a couple of funny, but I ain't going to do it because I don't want to have to uh, dispute nothing. But I got some, a couple of funny videos, but 
that I wanted to share with y'all, but I'm going to leave that alone for today. But we definitely going to get back on some stuff, man. I've been doing a lot of research on a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know how I do, and you know how I do my research. So we're going we gonna to touch down on some things. Aresia Sheely, what's up with it, man? Shout out to everybody that's coming in here, man. Give me one second. And look, also, look, this, this is another thing that I want to uh, point out. And it, it's kind of it's kind of sticking with me. So I'll be I'll be bartending like large events, right? And they have a, a walk-in freezer. Just like just the same, all the walk-in freezer, they pretty much look alike. And a lot of times I will have to go in there and get like a couple cases of uh you know what I'm saying, like uh coronas or dosekis and stuff. And a lot of people are coming in and out their freezer all the time. But what struck me is when you when you going in the freezer, just to think about it, you are grabbing something, so your hands are occupied. So you don't you're not you don't have to push no push button. See, that's the thing. The push button is only if the mechanism is messed up to release the door. The door is more oh, it's easier to get out of it than to actually go in it. So all we do is just put our back to the wall, bump it, boom, it comes right. It's not it's not sealing and locking. I don't understand that. And it does have a little push button on the side, but that's only if something is wrong with the mechanism and the door won't come open. But at the same time, we remember that Crown Plaza said when they went and looked at it, it seemed to be working perfectly fine. So how could she not get at, get out of there? And see, when I was coming up out of there, the freeze, I was like, man, let me. Rec- I should have recorded how easy it is. Like, you can just bump it with your elbow. It's gonna go whoosh, come right right open. It, it's built for that because anytime you're going into a walk-in freezer, you're going to grab something so your hands is occupied. You feel me? Like they're going in and out carrying cases and cases. They can't use their hands. They just lean up against it, go whoosh, come right open. So I'm trying to figure out how come she couldn't get out of there. You see what I'm saying? If, if she could, if she could go in all these doors and walk up these stairs, how come she couldn't get out of? They they built them things for that purpose because you're you're going in the freezer to pull out a lot of products and stuff like that. You're not. You see what I'm saying? It just, it just don't work like that. That's all I'm saying. It don't work like that, man. Them things is easier to open from the inside than from the out. It's a little bit harder to put open the door. Than to um to to go in, then to come out. Like it's real easy to come out of there. So I'm trying to figure out how they how they even. But then then again, at the same time, Crown Plaza didn't really even come up with a uh, a specific reason or their theory of why she couldn't get out. They said that the 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 door was working perfectly fine. It wasn't no, you see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, all right. And just having that time messing with that freezer, uh, going in and out there getting drinks and, you know, going in there for whatever. We, you know, we picking up cases of beers and just, I just barely touch it with my foot. It comes right open, man. That's, I don't know what they're talking about for real. I don't know what they're trying to say. I don't know what kind of games they're playing, but. Somebody need to be addressing them type of issues. How could how can you get locked in there? That's the question. Now, let's say saying that's a 1942 old, you know what I'm saying? But they still confirmed and said that everything was working fine with the freezer. She, you know, so they're basically saying there's no reason why she would have been trapped in there. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, y'all already know what it is. It don't make no sense. Hold on, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this up, though. Let me see here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, anybody that know, like any, just anybody that got 
anybody that got access to those freezers, go test it out. See how easy it is to open it. That's the, I mean, the, to come out of it. That's the easiest thing. It don't take no pressure, no strength to do that. Like a kid could easily just kick that door wide open. Like it don't, like all you, all you have to do is touch it. It's not, it don't work like that, man. Whatever happened, man, they trying to keep that to themselves. They trying to, they, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened, they ain't trying to let nobody know what happened, man. And why they why they withholding that information? I don't know. You know what I'm saying I can't tell you that. But it just does it definitely points more to uh something happened. You feel me? It definitely points in that direction. Something happened. And why they don't want to uh let us know, that's the question. All right, so, bam. We're going to go ahead and get with it. We're going to go ahead and get to this, man. And shout out to uh, Karen Harris. This is a young lady that dropped some of this information. And uh, I'm going to let y'all hear the audio and all that, but shout out to her, man, for dropping this information on this on this situation. So we finna go ahead and get into this now. Now I should I show this part because I'm just giving you an example of how her mom was running a protest. See, a lot of people felt like, oh, her mom, her mom wasn't doing enough and all that. But now you're gonna find out. I'm gonna let you know why you probably felt that way. And when you hear this, you're gonna be like, it's it's kind of me it's messed up. I ain't gonna lie, it's messed up. That's all I can say. It's messed up that this, you know what I'm saying, that it happened like this. And the way they doing her, but I don't know. I guess it is what it is, right? We ain't gonna we ain't gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna say that, but definitely they they just starting to look more suspicious and suspicious by the day. Every single time that we look into some more stuff with them, man. That's all I gotta say. They they starting to look real suspicious every single time some information comes out. Now, I understand why they didn't leak this because of the legal things. You see what I'm saying? Because of the legal situation. I could understand that, right? I understand because look, you gotta understand when when it's a legal situation, she can't be bashing the hotel and telling them about their dirty works and stuff because it's legal now. So anything she says can be used against her in her suit. You see what I'm saying? If she goes on telling all this stuff, then they're gonna point to the they're gonna point to the judge. Well, she's she's just trying to bash their character. She's just trying to ruin their business. That's why she can't just say everything that she want to say. You feel me? Yeah, nosy bug. I mean, definitely because of the fact of the matter is they just can't shake the suspect. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Box. They can't like every single thing. Like it don't matter. It's look. It's people that really believe that nothing happened. And when you start actually talking to them, 
even they be like, well, yeah, that do look weird though. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that don't make no sense because it ain't making no sense, man. It got to make some sense. It, you got to make some sense, some kind of sense out of anything. Now, what's starting to make sense is a cover up. You know what I'm saying? Well, it always made sense, but what we know from what we know, what makes sense is a cover up, man. This stuff is starting to look straight like a cover up. And I can't make this up because even during all the stuff I've been looking at, I wanted to give uh Rosemont Crown Plaza uh, you know, maybe it was just a but I can't find nothing that suggests that it was just an accident. You see what I'm saying? And now when I show you this, the way that they're acting, you're gonna be like, dang, they they look they like only guilty people do things like this. I'm trying to tell you in real life guilty people always make themselves look guilty because of their actions the things they do afterward you feel me if if you innocent you don't have to hide you don't have to throw away nothing you don't have to cut you don't have to do nothing you see what i'm saying you don't have to do none of that stuff if it is what you say it is you feel me that's what don't make no sense to me You don't never like if you know you uh bad look if you know you didn't do nothing you're gonna be standing right there talking to the laws when they question you you're not gonna hide run we watch the first 48 every day and the, the same people said they didn't do nothing why you hiding why you go out of town you see what i'm saying why the security go, why the security guard gotta go out of town all of a sudden i'm gonna make this one statement and i'm gonna go out the country for what you got a bit it's a big case going on right now that you are was around or involved in and you got to go out the country what why you see what i'm saying like they don't make no sense either but like i say man they just they playing with everybody man they playing with it because they can and i'm gonna play this and now you're gonna understand how they how they moving and why they moving like that you feel me you finna see why kanika ain't getting the justice that she deserves she just ain't getting that justice that she deserved man and it's sad but when you see this you're gonna understand You definitely gonna understand. Let's see here. All right. So bam. We in here. I don't know what's going on with my uh With my stream, it's all laggy, but okay. We I'm gonna go ahead and hit it, man. I ain't tripping. I was hoping that more people can get in, but I see people are slow. My stuff is showing that a hundred, but it's a little slow. It's a little slow. All right, here we go. And I might have to play this a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, her. Okay, so it's catching up. See, YouTube be uh, a little bit slow. People don't be understanding. YouTube is kind of slow. It's delayed because they got to account for everything. So I'm sitting here looking like, man, what's going on? Because I see my analytics, but it ain't looking that way, but it's uh it's uh back it's all uh, back backed up and stuff but uh we finna get into this man and y'all uh you know what i'm saying pay play uh pay close attention to this man you see what i'm saying y'all pay close attention to this and tell me how y'all feel because look we gonna keep it 100 over here man we grown 
we ain't doing no trolling we we trying to keep it real you see what i'm saying and, and, and with that being said if we we got to be real with each other on this one that's what i'm saying i know everybody got their own opinions and their own uh theories and all that but i'm just looking at what's really going on and once y'all hear this i want to see how y'all feel about this because like i said an innocent person don't have to throw shade or don't have to hide their hands with that being said you know what i'm saying let's let's go ahead and get into it then of the night whatever time zone you are on we are live hello everybody moment of silence to all those who have lost their lives as everyone is geared up for this was going on you know her at the anniversary the when she passed was just uh anniversary September, you know what i'm saying rosemont to the village of rosemont illinois police officers to the hotel why are you all still babysitting the hotel every year around the anniversary of kanika being found in that hotel freezer mysteriously suspiciously you all babysit the hotel with a bunch of officers last night you all were babysitting the hotel thank y'all how do i know because people were out there watching you all babysit that hotel in the village of rosemont crown plaza o'hare so let me say this again every year annually around the anniversary of kanika jenkins being found in that hotel freezer mysteriously and suspiciously you all beef up the security in terms of police officers securing your premises and by the way for the people who didn't get it and accused her mother of being complacent and complicit and her daughter being found in that hotel freezer um they don't have a restraining order against you all they still have one against her though damn so make that make sense damn that's right the village of Crown Plaza O'Hare keeps renewing the restraining order against Teresa there Martin. There you go. There you go. Of the night, whatever time zone you are on, we are live. Hello, everybody. You see what I'm saying? So there you have it. Now you understand why her mind had to move like that. They uh, they keep renewing the restraining order. You know what I'm saying? Every time. And they beefing up security around the time the, the the time that that stuff happened to kanika every year for the past four or five years now right so now now you gotta ask yourself like because because now you gotta ask yourself look now you gotta ask yourself because a lot of people felt like her mom wasn't doing enough now why would they have a restraining order on uh on her mom she ain't coming up there and tearing up the place or nothing why 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 they keep renewing this restraining order and look i know that this is definitely fact because the only person that could confirm it has confirmed it i don't want to put that you know what i'm saying but we gonna say let's but they they got a restraining order on her we just gonna say let like see that means she can't even go up around there she can't even do nothing with them yeah if they look if they put a restraining on order on her she can't even go up to 100 feet uh to crown plaza man so what but but now let me ask you this to me it sounds like they playing victim what happened what about the compassion like you shouldn't have to put a you should be able to just work that out why would you have to put a restraining order if it was an accident do you you supposed to just reach out to the family she shouldn't even have to be suing y'all this way, man. Y'all should have already been settled. You see what I'm saying? You don't put no... Re if you didn't do nothing, why you put a restraining order on, on her? And why y'all that y'all got uh, Rosemont babysitting the hotel? Like, now, to me, that only stands out like... 
they got big money. But we all know that Crown Plaza uh, obviously is investing into the law enforcement. We all, we we obviously understand that, right? I mean, it don't. We already know that we don't. Uh, we, I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist to understand that. Because you got to be in, to even to have the laws actually come and secure your area, or be you know what I'm saying, be off duty or whatever, you know. But but see, this this is one thing people don't understand. The uh, the 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 O'Hare Airport is one of the richest airports. They got commercials saying like they're one of the richest airports and they're associated with the Crown Plaza. It's right there. So most of the people that come from their airport get a room at the Crown Plaza. They're, that's big business right there. That's big business. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're playing victim, but... That's what I'm saying, nosy bug. Why do you have to play big victim if it was a, a clear accident and you're sorry and your condolences go out to the family? See, now we don't even know how many times she went up there. She probably was going up there snooping around and stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure, but <clears throat> I don't know why they why they gonna put a, a restraining order order on her and keep renewing it. And why they got security every time the anniversary of uh, when that happened to Kanika is there. This is what this young lady is talking about. She's saying, like, every year they, they got a whole bunch of police officers out there on that day. For what? Like, what's going on behind the scenes that we don't know? Now, I'm pretty sure they're getting a lot of calls and people uh, telling them they're going to expose them and whatnot, but at the end of the day, like I said, if you didn't do nothing, you really don't have much to hide. You feel me? You you really wouldn't have to, you know what I'm saying? That's some that's some stuff that you could just work out with that with the family, you know. And I feel like, man, Miss Teresa, like that 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 gotta hurt because it's like not only did this happen, now these people that mean they ain't even trying to talk to her. She can't get no answers from them. She got to get a lawyer to do that. She can't talk to them. They got a restraining order on her. She can't ask no questions. She can't ask who is this person, who is that person. They got a uh, restraining order on her. And look, and right now I'm chopping it up with somebody that's from Chicago. And we we talking and they was they telling me about so uh, they. For my understanding, they done went through some crazy stuff similar. And we finna, we I'm finna, I'm finna get to that too. You see what I'm saying? Because I was asking them, you know, this this person been out standing in Chicago for 30 years, born and raised. And they said, Well, you they was like, Boy, you, you she, you know, it's very unfortunate, it's crazy, but you need to hear my case. And I'm like, what you mean your case? You know what I'm saying? Now they don't know that I uh blog or YouTube or nothing. You feel me? So they don't got no reason to cap. And they talking about they done went through some stuff similar. Like this stuff be going on out there, man. That's why I say people got to stay woke because it, everybody that I talk to that's that's been, that's from Chicago like that, they be they be like, bro, they don't even be want to talk about it. They be like, man, it be it's all right. <laughs> they be like, yes, yeah, so, man. You, they they be they be like man that ain't even nothing bro you should hear what this and this and that happened and I'm like all right so I'm a, I'm gonna check out that story too to see what this person got to say because they said that they had a case out there similar they done moved to Texas so with that being said it's like you know you know it's some stuff going on out there really but. Like it don't even take it don't even take a rocket scientist because when I did that thing on Mackenzie Beck, and you seen how she was walking, look at this, she was walking like Kanika in a double tree. Y'all remember that, right? Head all back, eyes closed. She was walking the same way, but she was at the double tree. But she got 
she got found at Crown Plaza and she was last seen on camera in front of, in front of Crown Plaza in just a t-shirt. No drawers, no shoes, no nothing. Make that make sense. And she was walking the same way. Head all tilted back and head keep falling back. I'm like, hold on, man. That's not a coincidence at all. Yeah, they've been yeah, they they've been moving, they've been doing this type of stuff. I think with whatever with Kanika, it just kind of went got out of hand and went left. If anything, they probably was trying to do it more cleaner. You see what I'm saying? But the thing about Kanika is they probably see you can obviously tell with Kanika, they thought that she was just like a, a straggler or something. And they didn't think all these people finna come looking for her in the next three, four hours. You see what I'm saying? So they probably just threw her in the freezer. You see what I'm saying? Because they ain't think, you know what I'm saying? That that's what that's what's so weird, crazy about it. Because they I, you could tell they did not think that there was gonna be a level of importance as finding her. So they just put her in the freezer. You feel me? And then now all of a sudden you got families and stuff outside. Uh pulling fire alarms and stuff and they like oh man and, and missing person report real fast like on and the police on them and everything coming up there they like oh man they they didn't know they they was just they just messed with the wrong one they messed with the wrong one because i'm telling you nine times out of ten say that they didn't know they probably didn't wasn't thinking about her age and thinking about people was gonna come looking for her because normally a lot of people gonna write that off to like, hey, they was just partying. You feel me? She'll be she'll she'll come home in two three days. But by that two or three days, she definitely wasn't gonna be in that freezer no more. You feel me? And I, I definitely give Miss uh, Teresa props by how she did it and came straight up there. You see what I'm saying? She came straight up there and that and the thing about it is what people don't know. She came straight up there and didn't leave until. She didn't leave. That's why they wanted to put a restraint because they, they wouldn't even leave. If you listen to 911 call, I mean, the police calls, she's like, yeah, they're, they're still outside in the parking lot. Then you see her uh, her sister said, yeah, even they said even after they uh, seen Kanika's body, they didn't leave. And they, she said it was never no ambulance come pick her body up. Now, we already know that the police took her body because we see we seen it on the footage. But her sister Lenore was like, it's strange because what they told us that an uh, ambulance came and picked up Kanika, but we were sitting outside the whole time. We didn't even leave. We sat in the parking lot. We didn't, and uh, it wasn't no ambulance came. Which leads me to believe they knew someone who worked there at that particular hotel. Yeah, no, yeah, they knew, they knew somebody, they knew uh, somebody that worked there for for a fact, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way they could throw a party like that. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't really do it like that. You see how that party was moving and all them kids, like, you can't do that nowhere. Like, you can't even do that in Motel 6. They're going to kick you out. So they had to know somebody, and you heard in the audio how he said, it, it's, it's France, it's cool. Uh, they ain't nobody, he said, ain't nobody going to call the police and I just turn the music down. So they definitely knew somebody, but they, I think, I don't see that. That's that's the thing about it is the play. See now, also, okay. Let me point this out. So, you know the uh, the spots, the uh, the harvesting spots that got busted, right? Now, obviously, they're doing some crooked stuff too, but they also do uh, do some stuff where like they let the uh, college students like like you know practice on bodies and stuff whatever you know trait that is that it's a lot of college students that you know do that too so when you pay attention to the footage the next day you know it's so crazy the next day if you remember the footage on the lower level by the bathroom Kenny was at you've seen students sitting on the floor with their notebooks out Make it make some sense. 
because that's what the that's what the organ harvesting place was trying to claim. Well, we just only we just only care for 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 the students and the colleges for the college kids to come and they they do they they little thing on it and you know and examine the bodies, cut it open because they college students try to learn how to be this and that. But do you seen them in Crown Plaza? The kids that was everybody seen that that footage of them kids sitting on the floor with their notebook out the next day. And nobody, we, we scratching our head like, what they doing in there? They sitting all on the floor. So we we know that there's uh something going on with that part as far as, you know, the body parts and stuff. They they using it for you know. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but you know they, they, they you know the college students get to like dissect it and the bodies and and the parts and learn more about it and all that. That's what. One of the main things they claimed. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the more things they claim. But that's what kind of alerted me because another uh YouTuber was on my channel and we was talking about something else, but that that uh that organ harvesting place that got busted uh came out and the youtuber was like but yeah they only was doing they only was holding bodies for the college students to dis dissect them so there's a little truth in there because you see the college students sitting on the floor in crown plaza but they was also doing some shady stuff with it too because at the end of the day if you've seen the, the organ harvesting place let me ask you this why would the news reporter Asked the dude when he he you know he running out to get in the car said what are you doing storing all those bodies for if they everybody know they're storing bodies for the college students but they're saying no nah, forget all that no you got too many bodies and stuff this ain't no college uh experiment stuff no more you see what i'm saying that's basically what they're telling them you know what i'm saying i could pull up the video i know a lot of y'all already seen that but that's what they see that's the thing these people know better than we do, and they they own him. They like, hey, uh, what Arthur Radbird or whatever. They like, bro, what what are you doing with all those bodies in there? They don't. It ain't no college stuff. They probably doing that too, but they got too many bodies in there, and they doing something else with that straight up. Because the news and everybody in Chicago know they do that too, but that's why they ain't they ain't even mention that because they know that they're doing something extra because they got too many body parts just laying around and then they said some of the body parts had diseases and stuff so why would you have body parts like that and, and give it to the college students is that no that ain't what's going on let's keep it real you know what i'm saying let's keep it real it definitely don't got nothing to do with that see that that's what that's what i'm saying man you gotta look at things that's going on around you before you just try to place what happened because everything got a uh a little tendency like this so we looking at how things work out there and it ain't it ain't and it's not a coincidence that four locations get busted around this time though that's see i i don't believe in no too many coincidences man i don't believe in too many coincidences this this place this uh that organ harvesting place, the one that was linked to Detroit, two in two in Rosemont, uh, another one in the suburbs of Chicago, and one in Arizona, and one in Vegas. Now, is that a coincidence that they get busted around this time? They said that the one coming from Detroit was busted because it was leaking blood somebody called the police how many bodies do you have to have on a trailer for it to be leaking blood man come on that's not for no science uh no college science experiment man it's just not man and <clears throat> i'm just saying we got to be looking at this stuff like we got some common sense for real because all these little things that we overlooking, that's that's probably what got them. That's that's probably what got them kids messed up because they probably ain't understanding what's going on out there. You see what I'm saying? Because when you really look at it, it wasn't really too many black people in there. Oh, all the thirty hours of, of footage, 
they like the only kids in there like that around their party everybody else walking around business suits you know they got them little the little luggage the little weird looking luggage that look like you know what i'm saying like it, it that, that ain't even the you know what i'm saying it's like 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 you got some hotels that you know that you're gonna go rent a room or something there because you know it's a party it'd be a whole bunch of people like that but this this hotel was kind of weird in a way that it it actually wasn't no other kids or nobody there like that but them it wasn't no other groups of people like that it's all them the whole 30 hours we ain't really seeing no action no movement like how they had we're not seeing no similarities it's like once that party was over it went straight back to the regular corporate people walking around there. Then you had the college students. Make it make sense. So that obviously ain't the party spot. You see what I'm saying? That obviously ain't the spot for the party, for party, because it's going to be lit. It's going to be a whole bunch of people in there in and out. Like, especially when it's black people, like everybody know, man, like, you, you, this hotels you are gonna see a whole bunch of black people. This room, that room, that room. It was just different the way it looked. I sat up there and looked at all the footage, man. And you just don't see it like that. It's, it's not going down like that. It's not going down like that, man. Yeah, it took. Yeah, it took a long. Yeah, and then we already know it. Yeah, we. And see, look, and then look at this. We, whenever you look at the footage, uh, uh, it's a piece of the footage that looked like somebody, the, some people was coming in there and getting the equipment for the uh, footage. You feel me? Like they was coming in and, and, and getting some stuff, but they weren't police that was doing it. Look, uh, too pretty, Miss Kitty. Okay, look from from my understanding and from other people that be, really be out there. The ticket thing is, which we we do it out here. You because you heard them talking about it too. They they sometimes reuse tickets. Somebody could give them a, a old ticket. They put it in their windshield so they don't have to pay. It it it, it you know that does happen. Now I can't say exactly. That's what happened in this case. But you did hear them talking about it. She said, yeah, you know, people be reusing them tickets like that all the time because that does happen. I'll be going to the club and I'll, I'll get somebody that uh, ticket that's leaving or something or anything. But for them to have an old ticket like that, that means they know somebody that works there. Right. Somebody go, hey, don't, don't even worry about that. I'll give you this. I'll give you a ticket and all that. Don't even worry about the uh parking. You know what I'm saying? And all that. Because, because believe it or not, that parking stuff is a little expensive if you ain't, you know, if you ain't the uh the owner of that place. Like, you know, that that go about an hour. And if you don't know how long you're gonna be there, you ain't definitely ain't running back and forth putting on a meter or none of that. So by them having an old ticket to use because if you listen to the audio they did mention that we people be using the, these recycling these tickets for them to have an old ticket that would mean somebody at work that gave it to them yeah that was trying to hide them cameras and everything yeah yeah it could call yeah because because they be man this one this one i'm trying to tell you this parking stuff and got out of hand anyway for a long time. They come tow your stuff. Do you do you gotta pay more than 200 to get it out? So people ain't playing with that parking stuff. I didn't did that. We we're going to the shows and stuff, and don't know how long I'm gonna be there. So I'll pay over or pay the 20 for the whole night. And you know, as them being kids, they you know that somebody probably gave it to them, my old ticket. Because you could, I did it before I bought an old ticket and put it in my windshield, and they just they gonna just look at it. They can't they can't really see the date. They just looked at it and see that you got a ticket in the windshield. You see what I'm saying? Most of the time they ain't gonna trip. 
we do it all the time out here. We we recycle uh the parking tickets for show. Like people be really standing out there, be like, hey man, I, I'll give you my ticket for five dollars. Like, all right, bet. Especially downtown, because it's so hard to find a parking spot. You just gotta like downtown be so messed up on a Saturday night. You still you literally gotta cruise around for 30 minutes to find a parking spot close or a meter or somebody with a uh ticket to give you. And people be like, hey, y'all got they like that. Okay, so downtown, the goal is pull up on somebody pulling out. Be like, hey, bro, you still got your ticket? I buy it from you, or they might just give it to you. You feel me? But a lot of people be selling their tickets. Real talk. A lot of people be selling their tickets. And uh the way they got it right now with that ticket stuff is tough. They gonna tow your car, man, and a lot of people don't be want to pay that. Especially, and then you don't know how long you're going to be there because when you, especially when you're using the meters and stuff like that, it, it got like a time frame on it. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. I, I had got a uh, downtown. I had got a ticket and I only put an hour. It was in the club. It got turned up. I had to run back out there all the way down the street too and put uh, a couple more hours on there. And people don't like to be doing all that either. Here you go. Hey. That's the thing about, see, the only, look, that's what, what we ain't, like, clicking together. What we are looking at is they knew somebody there. That's how they got an old ticket, man. Like, it, 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 that's how it works. I worked at the Hilton before when I was young and all that. Yeah, they we, we, we be having, because we be picking up the tickets and stuff. We we got a box full of tickets, man. You see what I'm saying? Like this ain't no this ain't no game. And we, when I was working at the Hiltons, I was up there. Uh, the college was down the street. We was using rooms uh, that we supposed to clean. We ain't clean them yet, and have parties in there, straight like that. I ain't gonna lie. Have parties in there. I'm man. We was going crazy. We'll we'll uh the room. Somebody like my partner working the desk. They can't order that room. We cleaning it, but we ain't cleaning it. We partying in there. You see, you see what I'm saying? We was doing it all the time. That's just the way the game go. Yeah, people toss them, people do whatever. You see what I'm saying? But that's how the game go. Look, I when I worked at the Hilton, well, really my homeboy was working there. But it felt like I was working there because we was I was up there with him all the time. It was right across from the college. We sometimes we'll skip school. And have a whole party in one of the rooms that somebody just left out of. You see what I'm saying? Because it ain't been cleaned yet. And we'll we'll use that. You feel me? Start like that. So that's just to me, what that looked like to me is they had a hookup. But we know they had look, we know they had a hookup because they can't throw up. And they can't throw apart. Look how many people was coming to that little room, man. You can't do that. And then they told them to uh unplug the fire detector, put a rug up under the door, and turn the music down because a few people complaining. You can't do that nowhere, man. Like that, they don't do that. No hotels allow you to throw a party in there knowingly. You can't. It's only if it's a two. If it's a two bed, only two people supposed to be in there. That room is too small. That and then the thing about this is, now this go to more of some negligence, really, because now you gotta ask yourself, why would Crown Plaza let them party in there like that? Underage drinking, uh, all these people coming in and out. Why would they let them do that? In their fine establishment, they find five star hotel that's right there by the airport with big bank halls and big contracts, Caddyshack. You know, rich people go there, man. The Caddy, look, the Caddyshack is a country club, rich folks. You don't pay nothing. You can't, if you look at this, if you um, like uh, somebody that's written out a room at Crown Plaza, you can't get into the Caddyshack, man. 
That's country club. I work, I, I've worked, I work for them. Golf tournaments and everything. They don't pay for nothing. All the everything is free for them. They pay sixty thousand. It's the cheapest ticket, the cheapest uh price to be a country club member, and that means you can go to events, anything that's straight country club all around the world for free, and you can you can bring people too. They have to be your guests, but you don't pay nothing. You're you paid the sixty thousand dollar fee. Like all all the uh football players. A part of it, you see what I'm saying? All the they they are part of. They can go in there. They can go play golf. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole nother world. That Caddyshack is straight country club living. Cause we all know what uh Bill Bill Murray. You know what I'm saying? His his whole movie is about the country club. I I sit up here and pulled it up and started watching it. And I was like, damn, yeah, that's country club stuff. That's country. That's the lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? Who is Kima? Some major people were there at the spot. It was hot, and besides, they wanted both the brother and sister. Uh, I don't know, but only thing I could under, only thing I'm trying to figure out: what would Crown Plaza and Rosemont have to play with that? Because that's some ghetto stuff. They you saying they they don't have to get themselves involved in no ghetto activity. They got too much money. They got way too much money. You feel me? They don't have to. Once you get that type of money, everything is business. And what business would they have to do with the the uh, the other people that we saying did this and that? Why would they be in business with them? These kids? Why? Unless they've been doing it for them for a while. You feel me? Because that is a part of the. See, people don't understand the black market. They don't do stuff the same. So they will come out and hire people on the streets and be like hey man you want to make some easy quick ass money yeah all you gotta do do this do that you see what i'm saying that's that's how that goes so it could be you know what i'm saying i can't i can't take that from but because i know on the streets that's how it go they gonna pull up on you uh sitting outside the, uh the gas station you know what i'm saying smoking and stuff and be like hey uh let me holler at you you know what i'm saying Y'all, if y'all boys want to make some, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how that that's how it go. So at the end of the day, we really don't know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's look at this. When you looking at it like that, uh is is that why uh Fred Johnson, if you looking at it like that, they gotta cover up because if they don't, a whole organization gonna fall billion dollar franchise is gonna fall you can't let that get exposed now we know that every business do some behind the scenes business to keep their business going like that's you see what i'm saying like nobody just stops with their business it, they, the businesses are used for a lot of things you know what i'm saying yeah the businesses are used for a lot of things yeah, it's and then you gotta think about that. If the laws shut them down, they're not just shutting Crown Plaza down; they're shutting down a whole bunch of people. You feel me? Because people don't know Crown Plaza. I believe because I seen they. I, th I believe it's the Holiday Inn. Uh, they own a lot. They own a lot of stuff, bro. They own a lot of uh land out there. You know them uh fronts with all the stores and stuff like they own a lot they not just no crown plaza they, they the people that own them they ain't just been doing ho uh hotel stuff they've been doing big business for real they've been out here they've been out here they got a long list of things they they own it's you know what i'm saying you, it's not a game they got too much money you see what i'm saying we, we got too much money like man that's why that's why only that's the reason why i i understand i what i want to i believe that they probably did try to give her mom like a, a payoff and she said no that's what i'm believing because i don't see why they would go through this court stuff knowing they finna have to pay they know they're gonna have to pay they said they closed one uh 
the closed one was Bill's. Now, yeah, it's called the Caddyshack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the Caddyshack is, it, it look, okay, anybody look up, when you get a chance, check out the movie, The Caddyshack. It's about country club living. Like, because it's, like, it's the, the golf uh, thing. Now, with the country club, you know what I'm saying? The country club is like a big old thing where you, if you remember, you go there, they got, they got hotels, they got, uh, they got movie theaters, everything in there. Like you can really just go there and, and it's like you're on an island. They got all kind of private swimming pools. Like that's that's where uh the football players, like the cowboys, they be in there training and living it up. You see what I'm saying? But the cheapest membership, well, I, I asked them at the uh golf tournament, the cheapest membership is sixty thousand. Then you got some people that pay like a hundred twenty thousand a year to be a member. And like stuff like the caddy shack and stuff like that is available. You feel me? For them. But see, country club members don't pay nothing. They already paying per month. It's all for the real rich people, man. Like you can't, you can't never, you can't even get up in there. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You can't unless you're working. You know what I'm saying? The only time I ever even been to a country club was on some business stuff. As soon as I went in there, I seen Emmett Smith. To the right in a private room with like a 200 inch screen in there before we had 40 inch visios with his big old laptop uh, his big old uh tablet uh running play going through plays then you see like all these rich people be in there lounging man that's it's like it's a different world i ain't gonna lie it's a different world like that's for the real rich people man like when you walk in there, it's a whole society like where you would you really don't have to go outside or do nothing. Like everything that you want is there. They got Burberry, you know what I'm saying? They got Gucci shops, they got all the everything in a in a uh, country club is there. You, and then when you go in there, they could they can have like 10, 15 bars, uh 12 clubs. Uh, you know, they can do it's big enough to do big events. You can have a Gwen Stefani come perform over there. They got the stage. They got all, they got everything. You, if you're a country club member, you go in there. You can bar hop. Don't pay nothing. Everything is free when you're in there. Everything is free. So that lets you know what type of money is going on. Now, check this out. I don't know if any of y'all looked up Caddyshack or whatever, lady. But that thing is jumping. And they sit up there eating and stuff. Cause I seen a video and then somebody uh they commented and said that, that, that these people don't even know what happened there. They in there partying like a mug, man. It's jumping. But what I seen the caddy shack, boy, I looked it up. I need to look it up again. It was it was moving. Yeah, country club hill. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, country. Yeah, we we do too. We got a whole. It's that's what it is. Country club is a neighborhood. Like it, it stretches the country club. Uh, it, it's called Conwood Valley and all that. That's where all the Dallas Cowboys uh, live at. It stretches all the way down to the college, which I believe is going to be like three miles or four miles long, all the way down. They got houses. They got a uh, whole neighborhood. The whole society. They got the you know. The venue, they got a stadium, they got all that stuff in there, and you can't get in there unless you a member. We just be driving by, trying to just looking, you know what I'm saying? Just looking. Only thing you can really see is the golf course, and then everything else is in the back. You know, the water, they got lakes, they got all that. But I, I was there because when Tiger Woods is out here, we was uh, our school was so close. It was like three miles from the uh from the country club so well the country club be too packed on the golf tournaments so what we was doing is we was carpooling uh you know what i'm saying people from the school like the school set it up like if you want you got your license and all that you can make a lot of money carpooling man i'll tell you we made a lot of money we we pick uh people up they had signs to say you know if you're going to the uh golf tournament pull up uh, you can park. There's some, there's some parking over here, and they was using the school to park, and we would drive them, uh, you know, a mile or two to the country club to the golf tournament, and they used to tip so crazy. I'm talking about they they just throwing. I'm talking about I had money falling out out the car and everything from that box that was on uh dashboard. But that's that's that big money though. You see what I'm saying? That's when Tiger Woods was jumping. You know what I'm saying? When he was jumping, the country club was lit lit. 
they had to use the school, which is the school is two miles away from the country club. They use the school for uh, parking. So when you're looking at that type of money, you got to understand this ain't just no crown. This bigger than a crown plaza, man. You see what I'm saying? It's bigger than a crown plaza. This a long line of money and network. They upset. This a long line, and that's probably why she can't. She really can't even do much at all when it comes to them because she already got a restraining order. You feel me? She already got a restraining order, so that's probably why she looks so. You know, but she 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 already knew because what we don't understand is by the time she started even coming out and being on the news and stuff that already happened and they already went over there cause a commotion trying to find kanika remember if you listen to the calls they called the police on miss Teresa like five times and the one lady she said uh it's a she, she was like uh it's a lady here she's saying that uh her, her daughter's missing and they're not leaving and i just came in and uh they're here and then the officer said uh uh, the same uh, lady from last night. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I guess you know she's still here. You know, what I'm saying he's like, all right, we're gonna come up there. You see, what I'm saying so that lets you know she was there the whole time, man. She went straight up there and was raising hell. They, they, it did. Uh, the lady said, say that they're pulling. Uh, they got people up here. They're pulling fire extinguishers, knocking on people's doors, all that. So they got the laws called on them so many times, and some of them probably went to jail. And she got a, a, a everlasting, it, it, she got a strain. She can't even never go back to Crown Plaza. You know what I'm saying? She can't go back. So how she going to do any investigation? She, you know what I'm saying? She can't even go back over there. And the fact that she got a, a restraining order, and they're, they keep renewing that one. They keep renewing it. It's up for renewal. every, And then they beefing up security at Crown Plaza every on the every on the anniversary every time come on man it's like who are you even beefing up security for like what is going on man see that's why I, look it had to be some it had to be some ish going on behind kanika for sure and i believe with the family and the streets they was they probably was out there from my understanding they was out there messing with crime but see because they don't Why would they have to do that? Why would they have to beef up security and all that? I don't know. You feel me? Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I'm going to use allegedly because, hey, we can't blame nobody. We can't point the finger, but we just looking at the loose ends. Like, look at these loose ends. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's always some kind of, and then you got the, uh, the, the feds, FBI, they are already investigating Rosemont PD. So that's why they declined FBI assistance because they are already under investigation. Make it make sense. Has anybody got an update on that one? Because we all know that, right? Is there an update on that? What's going on with that? That They, they said, because it was all on the news and stuff. It's all in the papers tell everywhere so it ain't like we just saying something what happened with the investigation with uh with rosemont that was um uh, it was related to some other stuff uh before kanika you know what i'm saying but they was on the whole investigation oh yeah it's it is definitely uh old money because they was they was holding it down before like they they like some of the founders of uh the hotels like they own a lot of the hotels that that you're gonna be uh in you know what i'm saying in reality they own the same look that was so crazy you you sit up there might not like crowd plaza but you might be sitting in one of their uh establishments right now because they own a whole bunch of stuff man they just they got the chain
Yeah, I mean, from my understanding, yeah, it's still an ongoing investigation. Marcia, they still under investigation. There's some stuff like you can look it up. Like a lot of YouTubers already uh, put that out there and what happened. You know, it was some law enforcement running with street with the streets, like they was doing stuff with with people from the streets. You feel me? And got caught up. And that's basically what all they're saying. If you look it up, that's just basically when you sum up the whole thing that happened, which I, you know, I'm, I could let you, it was like, it was several things. Like, uh, they, like allegedly, they was letting people in concerts with guns and they was hitting licks with people, allegedly. You see what I'm saying? They was, you know, putting people down in the streets with licks and they was getting involved with it. allegedly you know what i'm saying allegedly but one of the main things that got the uh fans attention is it was a big concert and uh they let somebody in there with guns and then some people got killed and stuff it wasn't supposed to happen and then i guess the officer he got caught up on the side linked to the people and everything you feel me type of thing Like they was wondering how they got in, and then they ended up uh getting his officer because he got caught up in a in a little thing with uh these people. So check it out. So the same people that they was looking for, uh, you know, allegedly that was whatever shooting and whatever is linked, they was involved with another thing that got the officer caught up, and they just put two and two together. You feel me? allegedly but that's all on the news it's all you can look it up it's there you know what i'm saying every uh news outlet has reported and talked about that they show the pictures of the officer and all that type of stuff and that was like right around the time maybe like a year before that happened with kanika you know what i'm saying about like, about a year it wasn't that long So like I said, y'all y'all make it make sense. That's why, to me, I feel like there's no reason for them to have a restraining order allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Or because if it's a if you give your condolences out and it's an accident, like like you should be cool with the mother. If it's a straight accident, there shouldn't be no uh. No problems with with each other, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wealthy establishment, you could easily just take care. You could take care of them, man. You know, if it was an accident like how y'all they're saying, then you could just take care of them because you know you wasn't supposed to have that thing open. Somebody must have came back and locked it because they seen the stuff was open, and you got old for for one all that all that stuff in there. They got to take out. It's it's dangerous up there. If you ever looked around the back part of it, on the dock part where all them wires and all that stuff is, it's dangerous up there. That's under construction. You feel me? So, if that was the case, man, you should just you shouldn't have put a restraining on on her. Y'all, y'all should, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, this is how I feel about it. I don't know, but we uh, it definitely shows there was some more stuff going on as far as fighting for. Kanika and her uh, justice that her people obviously had to try to do. You know, obviously. And she, I'm pretty sure she ain't the only one allegedly that got a a, a, a restraining order too. I'm pretty sure she ain't the only one. Yeah, yeah, from Ghostbusters, yeah. But you know he's he did that movie the Caddyshack like that was a classic for you know the more wealthier end you know that it's all about it's like the golf tournaments and stuff you see what I'm saying and he made that's a classic like Caddyshack is a a brand name it was a movie and they start off they playing golf and all that. Yeah, whatever happened, they they not definitely ain't trying to take that uh 
that that you know that that they're here for that they ain't trying to take it man they can they they're gonna they just gonna move on but see the sad thing about it is i don't i i know they're gonna pay they had to they gotta pay but are they gonna hit them hit them with the no claws because that's a lot of times that they that, see what they what they working out is a contract so when we pay you you can't say nothing else about this we don't want to hear nothing about it from you you got to be you see what i'm saying that's 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 going to be a part of the agreement like don't 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 talk about it no more don't none of that you see what i'm saying like once if once they see and that's probably what they they <clears throat> see we don't want to get into that but that's why i say i know i know very well that we'll try to get some hush money you feel me i know that they probably wasn't going for that you feel me they wouldn't go off for that little hush money because we know for a fact they would try to offer because it, you know on the tabloids or whatever it said that they offered to pay her uh you know her funeral right come on man we know they had to offer more than that because even if it's an accident like that then you're gonna offer more than that because it's an accident that happened at your establishment so you're trying to get rid of you know you're trying to get rid of that problem and move on with business quicker than anything so a lot of these things get settled outside of court you feel me a lot of these things get settled outside of court so why is she going to court for so long why they got restraining on, on order on her there's some details that are probably gonna get released later on you know what i'm saying but for my understanding the way these civil uh, stuff be working, it, it it ain't gonna go no more than five years. You feel me? Like I only seen a couple situations where they would do they'll keep uh spinning you in circles, but it ain't gonna go no more than five years for sure. They ain't gonna that that it ain't gonna go too much longer. That look, that hey, it's that it they ain't gonna go for too much longer. I'm trying to tell you this. This one thing we get because look, it's been look, they they uh, when when was that uh trial started? I'm trying to think, let me think. Uh, see, yeah, uh, it might have a because I want to say it was like uh 2019 or something or 2018, maybe somewhere around there. So it's gonna, it, it might have another year on it. It might have another year on it, but like I said, it ain't going. It ain't going to change the fact that it got to be done. You feel me? So while we are waiting on that, you're going to get some answers. We might not get all the answers that we want, though. Huh. Yeah, that, they'll keep on rescheduling and restarting. That's what they do, though. You know what I'm saying? So they can buy time. They're gonna keep rescheduling it, restart it. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. They did extend a lot of things. They extended uh the time you can get your your license and renew your tags and stuff. Like around that time, like your your tags could be out of uh for like two years and they won't mess with you. So they they you know they they hit at the right time, but like I said, did it got to be settled. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing it ain't gonna do is go unsettled. We just sitting here watching and waiting to see what they're gonna say because I know y'all seen uh to uh to uh uh Miss Teresa say it's gonna be some stuff come out by uh that uh about her daughter Kanika that's gonna pop your eyes out. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that she's making that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She ain't got a cloud chase. She finna get fifty million. You feel me? But she can't say nothing. See, that's why if you notice, she started taking down anything on her page that mentioned Crown Plaza because it's coming to a what's name, and they trying to railroad her. You see what I'm saying? They trying to railroad her. They trying to use anything, anything they can say. Though you're sabotaging or you're 
be spread her. You know what I'm saying? They trying you so. That's why you see her taking her stuff down. Anything that she ever posts about them, she's got to take it down because it's a legal issue. And anything that you say can be used against you. They gonna run with the play. Yeah, she's been sabotaging and down. You know, our character and all that for. And she's just trying to get money. That's all her mo. You, you know they gonna play that man. We watch it. We watch enough. Uh, you know what I'm saying. We watch enough of the. Uh, the crime investigations and all that to understand how that worked. Court TV, you know what I'm saying? Everything. We were watching enough of that to get it. We understand that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to use everything, anything she say, they're going to try to use that on, you know what I'm saying? They're going to try to use that against her. And she can't, they're trying to make it to where she can't win. They want her to mess up. You see what I'm saying? That's what they really want. And I know her lawyer because, look, this is this what I'm trying to tell you. This the stuff that I just dropped, like, I just gave y'all the audio and uh, whatever, right? But this was shared. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I don't have to say all that because I know some of y'all seen it. It was shared by the right person that's allegedly confirming yeah this is true because this person do not share anything at all never did but whenever this person dropped this information about that they were like yeah yeah y'all didn't know that they shared it like yeah that's one that's a fun fact y'all didn't know that they got a, a whole restraining order against miss Teresa. she can't go up to crown plaza they uh you know what i'm saying they got security there every time Pol uh police security but for what because of accident make it make sense man i'm gonna just check out some of these comments uh in the chat and see what people are talking about renee h i was up with it renee i ain't seen you in a little minute <clears throat> Look, I'm and I'm. I gotta look. That's why I'm. I'm gonna show this uh, this ar organ harvesting bust again because you gotta listen to everything they say. See, it was some things that even I. You see, what I'm saying, even I didn't catch. Like, like the first time I watched it, I didn't know that there was two in Rosebud. One down the street from um, O'Hare uh, Airport. By the Crown Plaza, not even like a mile. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm gonna look at this. We're gonna play this, and I'm gonna look at this again because they not chasing this man down, asking him what is he doing if they know he does it for the college. You feel me? Let's get now. Let's keep that a whole hundred for real. If they know he's doing that for the cause, they not ask. They ask him like, "What are you doing? We know you do this and that, but what are you doing now?" Because that's what they're gonna say. They're gonna say it was a lot of things that got their attention, and they wasn't paying attention to it, but they paying attention uh, attention to it now. So that lets you know they they doing some uh some stuff they ain't supposed to be doing big time, and it's not just about. Uh, the bodies having diseases and stuff. It definitely wasn't about that. They don't. They don't cause for the uh, feds to come in. You know what I'm saying? They'll just tell you shut the shit down, type of shit, if you refuse to. But you know what I'm saying? We couldn't take a look at this. Let me see. We gotta take a look at this. And I'm telling you, look, I know how crazy it is because look, they they already trying to put ass on it so people can't don't share uh, share this stuff, man. I ain't crazy. I know what they do. <laughs> like. They don't want you to sit. <laughs> they gonna put some ass on this now. What are you talking about? Like what? Because you can't play it with the ass. You know what I'm saying? You can't show that. You gotta 
cross, you gotta go through it and cross it out. They ain't. <laughs> They trying to beef up even by anybody reviewing this because it's too much information, but check it out. Action for you. And first and six, the investigation of a business deal that deals in human body parts shifting from Detroit to Chicago as the feds launch a new raid. And once again, hundreds of families will be left wondering if the bodies of loved ones have been bought and sold on the black market. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirchner is here tonight with a story you'll see only on 7 Jim. Stephen and Carolyn, this case started here, according to sources, when a man named Arthur Rathburn was shipping human body parts through Metro Airport. Get this, the box leaked blood. Those cargo haulers then called for help. Why were you stockpiling hundreds of human body parts here, sir? That's Art Rathburn. And remember his business 13 months ago? For two days, federal investigators dressed in hazmat suits removed body parts of a thousand different people. Arms, legs, heads cut up and kept on ice, not embalmed so they would be fresh for the black market. Today, the rundown warehouse on Detroit's east side is shuttered and up for sale. Sources say Rathburn's seized records led them to the Chicago area today, a business called Biological Resource Center in Rosemont. It's difficult to see from the outside, but sources say the hazmat suits and raid are underway on the sixth floor of this office building. The same paper trail led investigators to Biological Resource Center in Phoenix, last January and another raid removing body parts and corpses there were also ties to similar businesses in Las Vegas since these yeah it should unless it's public, fresh no families blood, yeah. were left without answers Julie donated her husband Steve's body that, yeah, and was that, look, promised his cremated remains back in a look, month look see okay check this out that's a good question that you asked, Nosy Bug, because the way it works, like uh my cousin them, they work for the funeral home. I was I was gonna work with her, but I didn't want to do it. But around the COVID, it was booming so much that was paying a thousand dollars a week. And that just lets you know if, if a trailer is bleeding, that means they're transporting them wrong because you only transport they they pick up the bodies from the hospital or whatever. And they take them so they ain't sitting out there to be draining blood. Like, for them to be draining blood, that means they've been sitting. You feel me? Like, the body ain't going to start. Like, they're going to. And then once it goes to the funeral home, then, you know, it's drained and all that. So there's not no reason. Like, like the vans that they drive, it's not draining no blood. Like, because they, they ain't, their body ain't been in there that long. Like their bodies are supposed to be frozen when you when they pick them up, when they pick up the bodies from the hospital, it's it's a uh, it's a big old freezer at the bottom of the hospital that they pick up the bodies from. The body is pretty much frozen, so yeah, it, it's not supposed to be leaking blood. That's how they get the bodies. So the bodies that they getting, we don't know how they getting them. You feel me? Because that's not how you're supposed to transport them. Yeah, you can't pick, you know, I don't know who would who will be picking up like there's really it's not supposed to be a bunch of bodies on the back of a trailer. That's not what they use to transport them. Do you feel me? They don't use that. They got a little they it's like little white bands and they can only fit two bodies at a time in there. So really you're not you're never supposed to see a bunch of bodies on anything. They only travel with two bodies and they take it straight to the funeral home. So they definitely was doing some crazy stuff. They definitely was doing some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, the morgue. That's what I'm saying. That's that's at the bottom of the hospital. That's where they be having the bodies. When when uh when they go pick them up, they're picking it up from hospitals and stuff like that, which they already been got all that done. Then they transport it to the funeral home. So you're not riding around. Uh, with a bunch of bodies unless a mass crazy thing happened it wouldn't be in the trailer either it definitely wouldn't be in the trailer yeah cross contact yeah that's what i'm saying like think about this let me ask y'all a question what situation would need bodies being transported on a trailer that's bleeding and stuff. That's still, you see what I'm saying? What, why, why would that have to happen? The, the, the method of transportation 
for bodies is not a a a a, a, tr- a big you know what I'm saying a trailer truck that's that's not the that's not the way they do it at all and I know that for a fact my my kinfo been working there for about a year like he it's crazy like that's a different type of hey that's a different type of uh, lifestyle doing that stuff. I didn't want to do it. It wasn't because I was didn't was scared or nothing. I, I, like he did it, my neighbor did it, all that. They was getting to the money. I was like, man, I don't really want to do that. I already had some other stuff going anyway. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because the smell will it will never go away. Like the it that it, it's not it's not the it's not the norm. You know what I'm saying? And they got to hurry up and get their body. You know what I'm saying to the funeral home. So there's no reason for this place to be uh you know what I'm saying moving like this. Yeah, I just want to see one good uh reason. Confused and, and angry. We thought this was gonna be doing some good. Yet it doesn't sound like it is. What do you say to all those families who had no idea their loved ones were in here? Michigan pulled Art Rathburn's license last year after our reporting, even though they were told about his problems two years before can go find out what the heck he is doing and that wasn't done right did we do something two years ago no we didn't are we doing an investigation now yes we are are you worried about going to prison (laughs) now no one has been charged by the feds yet there are actually two locations involved in this raid going on right now in the chicago area Uh the offices in rosemont and the lab in another suburb where they have found body parts but my sources say this case is winding down, and with this new evidence in Chicago, they can now finish this case after some 13 months. Mm-hmm. So, Bruce, mm-hmm. any idea how many families you're talking about here with loved ones that may be involved? It's going to depend a lot on the records. It depends if they're talking hundreds or thousands. Mm. And with those records that they've seized, and are those records even up to date, yeah. or have they been doctored? That could be spelled out in an indictment once it's handed. Yeah, down. You, you would not expect it necessarily to be accurate the way it's been handled so far. It could Indeed. be very, yeah. Dang. See, look how they so saying that. LLC. The way they saying that, like, and then we don't even get no update on what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? It might be one. I'm going to have to look into it, but they sit up there telling you, like, it, it def, they, look, they're saying it definitely ain't documented, right? So we can't even go off of that. They just letting you know. They, you know, they speaking normal. They they know what they know about it, and then they speak the norm. They telling you it definitely ain't gonna be documented, right? How many bodies or nothing? Because they're already moving, uh, funny. So why would they be moving funny and do it right? You feel me? Why would they be moving funny and document all the bodies that they're misusing the shit they did, right? You know what I'm saying? Let's think about it. Why would they? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's look. That's what the news. See, you know they, their their jargon is just different. They want to say ha 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 and laugh and tell you the truth, but they got jargon that they use. They said, "Uh, was well, it's, it's definitely yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be accurate, right? Because we there, they wasn't moving accurate anyway. So why would they? They basically said, yeah, why would they write down all the bodies and the stuff they did? You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, that, that's not going to be accurate at all. We ain't gonna know that. We know they ain't keeping documentation of all the wrongdoings they doing. Who does that? It's just like having a journalist how rob a nigga on the side of rob a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you do that? Like, why? Why would you even move like that? And look, that, I ain't gonna lie. See, it, this is this happened out here in Texas, and a lot of people didn't even really want to talk about it. And I want to say this is around that time. Like this is probably like anywhere from 2015 to 2017, where it was three different people on the news that woke up. They was out partying and woke up in their apartment in a tub of ice and their kidneys, one of their kidneys was missing. There's three people with a note that said, you'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? So, but we already know I had did something about that. We already know this stuff been going on for real, man. We already know. And they, 
they, they they it's the party scene that's targeted because they have a whole group that people don't know about. I showed that that uh they uh they said that they were on the big they said they stole like probably like five thousand kidneys from people, right? And I, I'm I want to say they're more overseas, but it's like an overseas place where you go to party and they would they had people hired to be at these clubs. You feel me? They had people hired to be at these clubs, right? And these people will be at these clubs and uh, they'll let them know, you know, this person just came from out of town because, you know, when people come out of town, they'll rent out a room with the packages and stuff and get the free tickets to clubs and stuff. So they know where they're going. And uh, the people that they were, they were paying to do this were actually, you know, hey, end up sitting next to them. Bar, hey, man, how you doing? Just, you know, buy them a shot, you know, gain their, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Gain their uh security with them to make them feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is a cool person. Like they were literally doing this. And then they would drug them and, you know, do the, they'll do their procedure and, and put them back in a room, you know what I'm saying? Like in a tub of ice or however they do it, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if y'all seen the uh segment I did on that, but it's, it's that's real life. They really they called it. They, they had a name for these people and everything. They said they, they stole like the most <clears throat> within a certain amount of time. They stole a lot of kidneys and stuff. And I was like, dang, that, that right there is crazy. Just because of the fact of we watch these movies and stuff and, and think it's a movie. But these movies, see, even in screenwriting, what makes a, a good screenwriter is somebody that actually been through some stuff that knows some stuff because movies be telling the truth, man. These people ain't just coming up. They making, they, they taking real story, real events and putting them together and adding a little something to it. So we've been watching movies about harvesting and everything for years. They telling you what's up. And just like that movie that I was telling y'all, uh, a party gone wrong. No, see, it's it's not a movie, uh, f uh, made for Kanika Jenkins like like that. What it says is based on a true story, and I feel like they're using a lot of things with the Kanika Jenkins case for that. Look, it start out the the young uh the young lady didn't want to go out with her friends because she started a new job. And she just, I think she just had like lost a child with her boyfriend that's locked up and she in love with, you know what I'm saying? All that. And they was like, no, you know what I'm saying? Just party with us one more time. And you know, her friend ended up drugging her. Her friend was connected with somebody. And the thing about it is they wasn't, uh, their intention wasn't to kill her. You see what I'm saying? They just want to take something from her and then stitch her up real quick with that, that glue real quick you know what i'm saying like a surgeon only and see they even give you the background on that at the end they tell you about organ harvesting they say only a specific surgeon can do this type of procedure where they pull it real fast and they put that glue so you back up you wake up with a you know what i'm saying with a, a scar because it has to be quick the more that you're open long enough you know that that wound is open the the more nastier it looks and the more hard it is so they just go whoop whoop seal you right back up they know how to do it with that glue stuff so they broke that down at the end and said organ harvesting is real that's why i said if y'all ain't never seen that y'all need to check that out because it was interesting to me how basically what happened is they took her and put her in the uh they took her and put her in the freezer while she was drug right but the girls, they they in there messing with stuff, trying to throw, you know what I'm saying? They, they was drugged, but I, I don't know what, what made them what made them come. Something look, the freezer in the movie, the freezer came on and it sobered them up. Basically. So the dude, she was like, What is, why would you turn the freezer on yet? They said, I'm supposed to be able to go in there while they passed out. They turned on the freezer and the girls sobered up right so when the lady the surgeon come in there thinking they drugged and passed out they get to knocking that they fighting like a mug you see what i'm saying 
the girl's hair get all wild, pants and all that get dirty and all that. But at the end of this movie, you know, they they saved uh the girl. I believe one of them. But yeah, it was that they, they used the same the same mo like how the Kanika Jenkins case was, and then they said, and they said based on a true story. You see what I'm saying? So, what true stories did y'all base this on? Because I'm trying to figure that out myself. We know uh, the motive and stuff. Now, that might just be some Hollywood stuff they try to put together. But, you know, Lifetime be trying to, they really be on some stuff. Like, they, they you know, they did just drop the Gabby Petito uh, case and all that. And they was hitting on big points about the case, like how old boy was so mad because his girl was blogging and she was getting popular. And then, see, look, this one thing that people didn't even know about that case. So I guess, obviously, you already know that Gabby had more of a following, right? And she was kind of putting Brian on by always tagging his name and stuff. And you know how social media is, they don't give a, they don't care. They was clowning on him and stuff. So he he was mad. He didn't want to, he don't want to hear nothing about that blog. Cause they were like, man, dude, how old is your boyfriend? Why you know that was you know how social media is uh, fool. Why is he bald headed? You're too young for old, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like they was already on him. And he didn't like that, that frustrated, which I, I feel like that's a lot of truth that they, somehow they know that, you know what I'm saying? Because he did have that journal. But the thing about it is a lot of people don't know that. I want to know if this is real or not, because in a journal, they said he admitted to killing Gabby, but he said that she had got hurt in an accident and he was tired of seeing her suffer. Which they said they don't match. Now that's in the actual documentary too. Because that Lifetime got the full documentary with the real stuff. And they got so, but they don't add up to uh the way they found her. Like she wasn't harmed in no other way, but strangled. You feel me? See, because this is the thing. Lifetime is more based on uh, facts. A lot of their shows is they're taking it from situations. They they not a, uh, they not a it's not a fish, fictional network. They just do remakes of cases. You get what I'm saying? That's what Lifetime do. All the Lifetime movies be real people that you can go look up. So, with that being said, it's like they saying something. And then I watched this movie. Hold on, let me see what's the name of this movie. Hold on, I'm trying to see what the name of this movie is. It's a, it's a good one that you, I, I feel like that's shedding a lot of light on this activity. Man, I can't I can't think of the name. I was talking about I was telling people about it, but it basically is like uh this dude uh he he went to uh his daughter had gotten an accident or something and they was out of town and they took him to a uh took her to a low budget hospital. Yeah. So when he took the daughter to the hospital they 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 looked at her and said, "Are you an organ donor?" That's, that she's an organ donor, and she was like young. So they took the daughter and went to the uh, they went to like the basement, the lower level. You see what I'm saying? Check it out. Look, they took her to the lower level. It's called uh, man, I can't think of now. It's not fault or what, what is it? Something like that. But they took her to the they took the kid to the lower level and they put inf uh, emphasis on where the elevator went, which the lower level, like Kanika. But you know what I'm saying? We ain't I ain't trying to compare that to this, but they took her to the lower level, and then the dad was sitting out there for like 12 hours waiting on her. 
So when he goes back to say, where's my daughter at? They start playing him like, sir, who are you? Who's your daughter? We don't know what he's talking about. Like, you know, they get the laws on them and all that. You know what I'm saying? He come back in a vengeance in a doctor suit. He he get, he go in there. He get the tape and all that. That they they was like, no, sir, you, you're tripping. They show him the tape. The tape glitching like like all the, the Kendrick Johnson. The Kenny is glitching. You know, he pops up out of nowhere in the back. And they said it's a time censored and all that. You know what I'm saying? They they said it's a motion censor. They say that, but it's just showing. It was showing you like how they uh can manipulate the cameras and stuff, man. It's like you 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 gotta understand they can do that, right? Only the administrator got access to open it up to do that, though. You feel me? The administrator can open it up, and they can do that. They can play with it. They can cut out. You know what I'm saying? They can take some stuff out. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not that hard. So. Now I'm thinking, why did they come take the boxes out of Crown Plaza? Because are you look, you seen that footage where they were taking them boxes, the uh, you know, the actual boxes for recording and stuff out of there with wires and stuff. They was on the dock and all that. Are you taking the real footage? That would that, that sound like that's what you're doing. Because that footage is streamed from a whole nother source. It could be in a whole nother part of the world, the, the big security company. But it's streamed to them. So they're going to have the real footage there in their boxes. You feel me? But back here, where you get the original copy, it could be all the way in Tulsa, Oklahoma or something. They, they got the administrative pass and all that. that they can uh, edit it. Because, I, look, I went as far as I, had, I asked the uh, uh, head of security, you know, person that do that like expert and they say yeah they, they say yeah it can be touched like but they said you can just uh but what he was saying is the most the most thing they're gonna do is just delete stuff like you know they said he, he was like you're not gonna just uh edit people in and stuff like that's too much but you can just cut out uh, a minute two minutes and, and it won't look like nothing it can catch up with the frame like you can cut out two minutes here and there right So now, when I get to, when I say that, check me out. Yeah, look, hey, look it up. Look, now, when, when, I'm, when I'm thinking about that, it makes me wonder, and I, I can go back to the video and show you. Okay, remember when Kanika and them first came in a hotel that was coming down the little stairs in the little yellow looking area, and you see everybody go left at that corner and Kanika went right. Y'all remember that, right? Let me know if y'all remember that. Remember, everybody went left. Kanika went right. I know we've seen that. I got the video. I don't have to look it up. I'm just hoping that y'all remember that. Remember, Kanika went, man, so y'all going to make me have to pull this up. Everybody went left. Kanika went right in that little hallway. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nosy bug. Yeah, fractured. Thank you, nosy. Hey, it's called fractured. Yeah, fractured. Yeah. How you know that nosy bug? So you've been on it, right? See, I be on it. Like now, nosy bug. Let me ask you a question. It don't take a rocket scientist to see what they trying to show you, right? In fracture, they put out. They show all the steps and how they do it and everything and. And took the, the kid to the lower level and played him. You see what I'm saying? They, they put it in there. They try to switch the ending. But I know you understand what I'm saying. Like, I, there's no way you could be precise on that if you don't know something, right? It's just like, look, it's just like I met I met somebody. I met somebody that I ain't, did, that I ain't seen in like 20 years. And they can't remember me. But I was like, yeah, I remember. Woo, woo, woo. They couldn't remember me, but I told them something very specific that they told me. And they said, oh, oh, I do remember that, though. I know what you're talking about now. So it's not like you just know some stuff or making this up. That, that, that whole movie was focused on 
putting a, a light on this uh type of topic. It was it was they were shining a light on the organ uh thing and how you can change uh edit video all that. Like they're telling you this is real. You can edit video. People is crazy. So that's when you see them pulling them. They had them boxes with all them cords coming out. They pulling all that, all them hard drive, all them, them things that, that uh, keep all that footage for years out of there, out of Crown Plaza. You, I know y'all seen that part in, in the 30 hours. There was there was uh, over there by the cargo air, uh, cargo elevator. You feel me? With With them boxes. And that they're gonna just say, yeah, we was going out there to get all the food. Woo, woo, woo. But the thing about it is, how do we see them doing that on the footage? Because them cameras back there, they said it didn't work. All three of them that would show everything that happened that didn't work. That's what they was getting, allegedly. Because look, you can't tell me, look, from when she walked back there, when she went went to the lower level bathroom and came back and walked through them double doors, she made that right instead of going across back into the uh the kitchen, the lower level kitchen, where all the people was cleaning there. She went right, and then around that corner is where the staircase they're saying she had to walk up to is, and it's a cargo elevator. But they them cameras they said don't work. And there's also a camera when she would have made it to the top of those stairs that didn't work. And there's a camera that's sitting there that we can see vividly when she walk, when she come out the bathroom uh, and go back towards that way that would show her going right. That don't work. All three of them don't work. Look at look it up. All the cameras, they're going to tell you every camera that didn't work. It's three of them. It's one right there. At the top of that staircase, that would have show her making it to the top of the staircase and opening up that wooden door and going in there. Is one at the bottom of the staircase by the uh, cargo elevator. And it's one right there by the uh, the doors that lead to the lower level kitchen. That that when she's coming out of the bathroom and go by them double doors again to the right. That would have show her going right and going that way. And under that staircase, it's a little uh, drywall. It's a little sliding little thing, a door that goes to the employee lunchroom. Under the staircase, they said that she walked up. Because, look, they said, that, yeah, she obviously had to uh, walk up the stairs to get there, right? Because we see her going back down that way. Now, there's other ways to get there, but she wasn't on that level. Like the way they took Miss Teresa, she wasn't on that level. She was at the lower level. So the only way to get there from the lower level is the stairs, man. Let's make it make sense. The two flights of concrete stairs, the back door, that's the only way to get up there to that kitchen. The kitchen, all the kitchens is on the lower level. The reason why that's called the upstairs kitchen because it's on uh, level ground from the entrance from the uh you know what I'm saying front desk that's why they took Miss Teresa them through that side and did all that up upstairs she you see what I'm saying they didn't take Miss Teresa through the double doors of the lower level where Kanika went in at right they didn't take they didn't walk her through that part they walked her another way upstairs to go straight to it there's no other way she can get up there unless it's a cargo elevator or the stairs. And from my understanding, it's like a code or a car to use a, a cargo elevator. It's not just like you can just hit a button. And it, even if she did, that means she would, that cargo elevator is dangerous. So that means she was smart enough to hit that button and go up there. She wasn't like too messed up. Make it make sense, man. We all know that they said that's the only way she can get up there to the upstairs kitchen. It's a staircase. You know what I'm saying? This staircase. Let me, let me pull this up. This staircase. Now, that's why I always go back to this because they said it. Look, this is what they said. You know what I'm saying? 
this is what they said. This ain't what we came up with when we looking at stuff or investigating. This is that this is how they said they got up there. Well, I'm gonna pull this up right now because we all know this, but this like I don't even I don't even understand how they could say just say that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even understand how they could just try to tell us that though. Cause y'all claim she was so messed up, she can't even. I don't even. If she was that messed up, I want to see how she was using the elevators like that and stuff. But we ain't gonna get into that. See, look, look, look. That man say, I don't even want to get it. So this is this where you know this how it looks. Look, you know what's so crazy. Let me ask y'all something, man. Are we looking at this or not? Why is this in HD? But every, look, if you look at the footage, all the footage is so good, except the footage when you see Kanika and them and the girls. This is in HD. The crown, you didn't even know the crown plaza looked this good of the footage they showed us. This is the same, man, come on, this is the same camera. This ain't no phone. This is not no phone footage. This is the, this how it looks. It's nice. It's real nice. Yeah, it's real nice. Look at this footage. It's HD. And then watch. Every time it come back to Kanika. This is the rail that Kanika fell over. That's the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Men's bathroom. Which That's the men's bathroom. Totally yeah, we know that. Disoriented. We know that. We know that. And then this is the double door she go in, and this time she's going to make a right instead of going straight across to go back in the lower level kitchen, right? See, look, it's showing you. Okay, you see that, right? So she had to go up this way where it says ahead, ahead. Now, that looked like the cargo elevator right there. You see what I'm saying? So the staircase is right here beside to the left that you got to go to. You see he's showing it. He's trying to tell you, like, and the crazy thing about it is he's debunking it, but he's giving you some good, good uh, information because at the end of the day, what's so messed up about this on the camera, the only person that goes that way is that security guard out of all the camera footage. He went that way because he went over there to the employee lunchroom. You know what I'm saying? He went. He went to the employee room. You see this door right here? Bam! That's over there. He, this is a staircase, and this drywall to the left, where you see his arrow, that's to go to the employee lunchroom. The employee lunchroom is under the caddy shack. It's under it. You see what I'm saying? It's under it. Make it make sense, man. It's under the the the, the cash act. So when he went this way, he didn't go up the. He came up here in the employee lunchroom, which nobody's in there. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's in there. You feel me? Now he gonna see. Look this. Look this is the crazy thing. Like watch this. Look. He gonna disappear. Look, this is the footage gets blacked out. I don't know why it's blacked out, but <clears throat> when you see him come in there. Which he's coming back there. Now they say it's a whole hour. Conveniently, everything is a whole hour. He, what's so convenient is he walked the whole areas that Kanika went, but it's just all one whole hour. But I, I mean, when you edited things like that, take stuff out, you got to make it precise time. You got to change it. You can't say an hour and thirty minutes. You see what I'm saying? So when you look at that, look at this. So he gonna be, he went this way. This he the only one that ever did it. He's he's on the footage because look, you see how it went black. Now listen to what he Could says. Be the door to the lunchroom. Now, right down here, there's a wooden wedge holding the door open. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, you can tell it doesn't even have a doorstop. And as you can see, you'll see in a minute though when he enters. He's so trying to bunk black here. This see, is he's trying missing, to bunk it though. Listen, like right now until the end is the missing time. All right. Okay, when I say missing, it doesn't mean oh my god, he's saying there's missing time. There's something. Oh, he did something. No, it's again 50 minutes prior. He is a security guard. He was walking around. I think he might have actually went to a garbage can and thrown away that whatever he had in his left hand because I don't see it uh, in his left hand when right. he enters the kitchen. Okay, and you'll see him enter yeah, the like, kitchen right now. Okay, now watch the door. Watch the door see, over there. That so door. So he, that's where he came. So he went that way, the same way that Kanika, they say she had to go. He went that way too, but, you know, they said it was 50 minutes earlier, right? But that time that is cut out, that's time for him to walk up them stairs. And I don't know what he could have been doing. You know what I'm saying? That time that he just said that's cut out, that he skipped, that shows that he didn't go directly in the, in the kitchen. I mean, into the uh, lunchroom. Because it don't take that much time for him to go there anyway. It shows that that's showing that he didn't walk directly in there. Yeah, black screen. See, and look, and he look. This is the thing about it is he's debunking it. He's trying to say nothing happened, but he's still showing some footage. He said, "Yeah, this blacked out, but I don't. It don't mean nothing, though." You see what I'm saying? Like, like pay attention to what's going on. What's up with the James? Yeah, look, he's trying to debunk. It. He's trying to say he's doing. He's saying that nothing happened, but he's still giving us good information and showing you the only route that you can get there, which Kanika. And him are the only people on camera that went that way, for sure. It swings and swings, okay, and it doesn't have a doorstop. So that could be that door that had the wooden wedge. Right mm -hmm. there. Now he went in here. There's no missing time. It went it right is. from 33, 34, 35, you know, around. He's walking. Now he's going to walk back and get some water, all right, or a drink. Okay, I can't claim that it's water, but I know that he's going to have a, a, a cup, a glass-shaped cup or whatever. And he's going to put liquid into it because that's what you put into those. Man, look, now that I'm thinking about it. So, okay. So what it is that see, so that, that would imply that when he went that way, he probably watched somebody take her up there. He knew he seen who took her up there. Somebody must've told me, yeah, yeah I got them handle this or something that cause he, he, so that black footage, that's the footage because, you know, that's another way to get there, to be already right there. The cameras don't work right there in that area. That's why I guess they try to substitute a black screen. And that's why you don't see. Look, let me ask you this. When you seen Kanika coming back from the bathroom and going through them double doors, why you don't see her no more? Because, look, it, we know she didn't go into the lower-level kitchen because you would have popped back up on the camera in the lower-level kitchen. That's the la that's You don't see her no more till she's in the upstairs kitchen, right? Because those three cameras allegedly don't work. You can look that up. It's going to say three cameras didn't work. The one, look at this, the one above the freezer, the one when you first, uh, walk through them double doors and make that right that would show her you know what i'm saying and the one at the top when she got to the 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 top of the stairs to go into that upstairs kitchen and push open that wooden door let me now let me see if i can find this because i i, I didn't i want to show y'all the staircase which i know y'all seen it but i just want to look at this again I want to look at this again because if she was that messed up, there's no way she could have made it up there. When I well, look at this, when I first seen that, I I thought that uh, I thought to myself when they showed uh, that that uh, staircase, I said, "Man, if she did." try to go through that uh you know what i'm saying if she did try to do that then 
she would she would have she would have fell down them stairs, right? I don't want to hear this. Like I that's that's the first thing that I was thinking. I was like, man, if they try to say that she made walk try to go up them stairs, there's no way she made it up the stairs. She could have fell. Like that was always in the back of my head. Like she could have fell, and uh they just tried to, you know what I'm saying, cover that part up. You know what I'm saying? Like I always felt that a little bit too, just for some reason, because they're claiming that she went up these stairs. Now check this out. They're claiming that she went up these stairs. So that's one thing. That's at least enough. To, that's at least some information they gave us, right? You know what I'm saying? Like they uh, that's how she had to go up there. Look, this the same look, the same area I was showing y'all with the door that's underneath. Bam. This is the only way they're saying that she could have got up there. These stairs. How is that possible? Look how high, and then it's another flight. Look. It's a whole nother flight. Watch this. See, it's a whole look. Now she got look. And there's supposed to be a camera right here that would have showed her making it to the top of the stairs. And you see, that's the go to cargo area uh elevator. This is like the dock area because remember, you gotta understand this is on the main floor. She went from the lower level underground up to the main floor again to this area. Yeah, no footage, but they had cameras there. They said it don't work. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. They got cameras and they said it don't work, bro. This is what people this is what people ain't paying attention to. They didn't even really say much at all, but this is what they told us. She had to go up them stairs, and the cameras back there don't work because it's an uh, uninhibited area, and they, you know, they just ain't got it together. It's not maintenance. Yeah, we nobody uses that area. She went to an area. That ain't nobody go to in years. It's under construction. So the cameras don't work, right? That's what they said. As she pushed open this wooden door and entered the upstairs kitchen. That's how they said. Even remember, look. Now, now look at this. Hold on. I want to see if you to the left is the thermometers that show the uh freezers that's on. You feel me? So that's why our boy was up there scratching his head because he said the door was wide open. And you see him pull up. Yeah, see, see over to the left. He said the door was out wide open. And uh, this is when you come inside, where they said she walked through them doors right here, and then she walked straight across. But he said he seen the door was open and all that, and the thermostat was on, and he was wondering why. Then he got a call to come clean up the pool. See, that's how she got in. You see what I'm saying? That's what they're saying. That's how she got in. And then right here, you, get, you know what I'm saying? Went straight back there. It's nothing but a room all the way back there, and then it's the freezer. Dead end. You see what I'm saying? But there's a room back there, which I showed that. There's a little room with a bench in there and everything. And that's why they, they were showing that picture of that, that, that dude that looked like he was kneeling down in there and that picture with her laying there. I don't know. You know, I got that picture, but it's like, I don't know. But that would definitely be that room. Okay, you see that right there? That room, look, right there beside it. That's a whole little room, you know what I'm saying, with a bench in there, a long bench, a wooden bench. Like, you know, you go sit down there and chill out. or It, it looked like, like one of them rooms people can go in there and smoke or whatever. See, that's why I said them doors are harder to open than to get out. See, and it's not no locking me mechanism unless you put lock it. You see what I'm saying? You have to lock it from the outside. She can't. She shouldn't have no problem getting out of there for real. Doesn't make it make sense. All right, Renee. Let's make it make sense. Like I'm just looking at the regular stuff that we need to be looking at, man. It's not. Supposed to be that hard to go 
to come out of Walker Freezer. They're literally supposed to be like ice boxes. You can just open them up, man. <laughs> like it's, they don't make them like that because you got to go in there, pull loads of stuff out. Your hands gonna be uh, occupied. They start to look for a friend. Mm -hmm. See, and that's the little freezer right there. Look, the push knob. Okay, so it's a push knob on the in, outside and the front side. That, that that's an old freezer. But they claim that it was working properly. You know what I'm saying? They said it was working properly. Yeah, she was got to the freezer. Yeah, she couldn't. Yeah, she couldn't. I mean, in reality, she couldn't make it up there her own, uh, on her own. If she was having problems just going to, like, she couldn't make it up there. She couldn't make it up there, man. Like, for real. She couldn't. And they sit up there giving us all this BS. Like, we don't got no sense. We understand this, man. You see what I'm saying? This, this, this don't even look good. It don't even look right. See, you know what I'm saying? Look, like right there, bam. You see that? Well, that's the other way that she. That's the way she came in. That's the way she had to go around the corner. And like I said, make it make sense. Like it, it, if this is all what you say it is, you shouldn't have restraining orders and all that going on. I don't know. That's just me thinking. <clears throat> I don't. I don't see no no need for all that extra stuff. If it's just an accident like that, you shouldn't have to do that. It should be straight, cool, clean. You know what I'm saying? Now the freezers are real soundproof, but they they're not a hundred percent. But they real soundproof though. Like screaming, it, it's gonna be real. You ain't gonna really be able to hear. It. That's why that dude. I think he heard some stuff. That's why he started peeking around there. But they called him and told him to come clean out the pool. I believe he heard some stuff. He was standing right there, scratching his head, for real. The next morning, you feel me? But like I said, with that being said, I'm gonna I'm check out this uh this lady I met from Chicago. She said she was like, yeah, that that story is crazy. But wait till you hear our our case. And I'm like, well, your case? What you mean? I'm waiting on her to uh hit me back and tell me what she talking about is going on. She just moved from, but she like the she like 45. She been out there her whole life, and she just moved from Chicago five years ago. So I'm going to see what she...